Who would have thought there was a disco mode on this 2020 GMC? Apparently there is, and we just picked up an Egg McMuffin here at Mickey D's. If you look around, uh, there's snow on the ground, boys. And uh, we're starting a brand new snow plowing company, uh, which is going to be sweet in the uh, hometown of Canada. Vancouver, Canada, huge city. We are on this super cool map that's got an interstate and just overall a very cool features. It's called Somewhere in Canada, so great map. It's got seasons and everything, so really, really cool. And uh, today we're going to be visiting the brand new HQ for the snowplow business and then building out trucks and getting snowplows hooked up to get ready for the rest of the snow season. There we go, and we're rolling out, boys. All right, let's go ahead, pull out here. Hop on the interstate and then uh, head on up to the HQ. We'll check it out and then we'll head down to the shop to customize some vehicles. The reason we're in Canada today is because I saw opportunity for a snow plowing business because snow is crazy uh, around this time. Apparently the Canadians call that place Timmy's or we call it Tim Hortons but you know whatever. But they got some cool stuff Kroger over there gosh dang Wendy's. They got them some other stuff too but uh, the turns right up here. And then we got to take a cool little bridge area. So super nice landscape. Alrighty, I think we're taking a right here. There we go. And then we're by this like plant kind of thing. Yep, biogas plant. But if you guys end up enjoying today's video, please help it out by hitting that like button. Uh, I always appreciate it and it helps out the video a ton. So yeah, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you guys are new because it helps out the channel. Here we go. We're on a bit of an incline here. A little bit more. There we go. Cop will stop. Oh boy, that didn't go well. Completely didn't take a wrong turn there. Okay, back over the bridge. There we go. 25 miles an hour, doing 40. Should be good. But here it is, guys. I think this is the newly built shop. And no, that's not the entrance, but right here. They already got the snowplow markers in neon green and then orange ones, too. That's sweet. But yeah, they already got it snowplowed for us as well, which is sweet. And then, yeah, this looks like the spot. Let's go ahead and park up the truck. And then we'll go check out the inside. Alrighty, there we go. I think the door is right around the corner here. Let's check it out. Yep, there it is. I think I got the key on my pocket. There we go. Alrighty. And then they got huge overhead doors. That's super nice. Check out this shop. This is so nice. And then we got lights here. Let's go flip those on. Nice bright LEDs and more overheads too. So that's nice. This would be considered the back door. I think we're going to use this side as the front. Because then we have two doors there. But that's the main one, which is nice. Let's go ahead and pop this one open. There we go. Pop the door. This thing's like rolling coal. Okay, it looks like a gigantic building. This is a gosh dang snow heater right here. We just dumped the snow and the thing liquefies it. Look at that. That's like water in there. They must have tested it out. But then right here, I don't know what that. I think that's where the water and then we take it out and go dump it somewhere. That's super cool. We have snow in the back of a dump truck or something. And then we can just dump it in there. So that's nice. Uh, we'll go ahead and keep that one open. There's nothing in here they can steal, really. They open on uh, some pretty cool rollers, too. Check out the shop. That is one cool shop, so I like it. We got the bushes over here covered in snow. We'll come around the back entrance here, and then we'll probably throw the trailers. I don't know. Maybe we can finagle them into the back corner here. Let's see. Are there lights in here? There it is. So this could be the trailer storage outside. They don't really get damage if they're covered, so pretty cool. Alright, I showed you guys the shop, so the next step is start buying vehicles, boys. And then we gotta get them up here. So let's go ahead and find some cool vehicles. I think we're gonna buy uh, an ATV, skid steer, uh, and a bunch of other stuff. Alrighty, here's the Yamaha Grizzly. I think the blue looks really sharp on it, so let's get that. Go ahead and buy it here. Next, we're gonna get this John Deere Gator. Here we go. UTV plow. Let's go ahead and get it in orange. That looks cool. Alright, now we're in the skids here section. I think we're going to buy this Caterpillar here. We're going to get a black edition. There we go. That way it doesn't get dirty. And we're going to put the cat logo on it. I think that looks sweet. Put the wide track, skids to your axe, you already know. There we go. And then we got to get a plow for this one too. Oh, uh, let's get it in a orange. There we go. Orange will be cool. Now we need to get into the big boys, the diesel trucks, and get uh, some of that going. So we got the boss plows here. I think I want to buy these two and put them on trucks. And let's see, okay, let's buy the boss plow redex. Get the boss plow. Let's go ahead and put it in case IH red. There we go. You already know I'm going all out with Jeep Gladiator, and it's got a plow mount on the front. Check that out. There we go, the Jeep Gladiator. Sounds good. Let's go ahead, I think we're going to put this one on it. There we go, looks pretty good. Nice red. And then let's go ahead and just park it up in the parking spot. And then let's hook up the skid steer. There we go, hook up that bad boy. 
And then let's go ahead and park it over by the trailer here because it'll be loaded on the tilt deck. There we go. Yeah, the John Deere Gator. This thing is a sweet toy. I love to drive this thing around. And we're using these small vehicles because that way we can take them at different times, use them for different jobs. There we go. We even got the strobe lights on there. Looking good. Next, I want to build out a dump truck. This is a super cool dump truck. It has a really cool exhaust on it. So let's go ahead and build one of these out. The main color, let's keep it everything kind of a darker color. That way it doesn't get as dirty. I think uh, kind of that darker gray is cool. Metallic gray. For rim color, I think we should do black. I think that looks sweet. This thing's just a boss hog right here. And then for a dump bed, there we go. I think it looks good. We need some big old tires on there. There we go. And 40k liters for sure. We're also going to buy this for the skid steer. It's the Boss Box Plow. Uh, big words there. Uh, we're going to buy this too so we can switch it out with the plow. And that thing scoops snow. Uh, very, very good. So let's get that one. Yeah, listen to this thing start up. Ready? We're going to start this bad boy up. Oh yeah, this thing's got a purr. It sounds pretty good. So I think we're going to hook this one up. And then it's got all the strobes and lights, which is cool. There we go. Looking good, looking good. This thing rolls cold too, look at that bad boy. There we go, so now I think we have most of the stuff. Let's get uh, a couple more things. We need one more plow there. I think we need a diesel truck. Alright, the GMC needs a plow as well, so we're going to buy this western plow. Uh, this thing is a sweet plow, let's go ahead and get that there. And then we'll load it on the back of the trailer, I think. And then we'll drive it back because the truck is already at the shop. Alright, here we go, let's go ahead and put this on the top. Top plow. This is for the Jeep, but we don't want it scraping on the ground, so that one's good up there. And then let's grab this plow, which is the skid steer one. Put it on the trailer as well. Let's grab this plow. This one's for the GMC. Oh, here we go. It's a heavy one. These things are super heavy, but we're strong. You know, go to the gym every day, so strap it on down. And then let's load up the three things we have. Uh, we have this little ATV here. We have the John Deere Gator and the skid steer, so let's put those on the trailer. There we go. I think the John Deere Gator is good up there. Let's go ahead and strap this one down. Next, we got the Caterpillar Skid Steer. This thing's a beast. Model X. It's got all the bells and whistles on it, so super cool. Let's go ahead and put this one up here, and then, I don't know, let's go ahead and raise it. I think we're going to have to put it in the back of the bed here so we can get that uh, final Yamaha on the back. All right, we're going to have to swing pretty wide to get this thing around the corner. Here we go. Let's see if we'll make it. We got the tilt deck. That thing's like a 45-foot trailer, so it's pretty big. Yeah, let's go wide. I think we'll clear it. There we go. Give it some speed. That's how you do it, boys. So yeah, we're going to hop back on the interstate. Uh, let's see, which way do we go? Alrighty, here we go. Let's take our turn on the way to the shop to drop off all this equipment. Got a lot of stuff on the back. It's all loaded down. The Jeep Rubicon, though, it's got a big old diesel in it. It's got some big tires and uh, a big motor, so it's pulling pretty good. Got the heat going. And everything's pretty well, so let's go ahead and just head on back. If you guys are enjoying the video so far, hit that like button. Hopefully you guys are, it's always a good sign. Hope you guys are all having a good Saturday, uh, at least when this video will come out. So hopefully you guys are having a good day so far. Let's go ahead and take our turn here, and then we'll be on our way. There we go, crossing the bridge right now. And those paws are like scraping on the ground, but I think they'll be alright. They're uh, pretty heavy duty, but uh, we're, we're climbing the hill pretty well. Here we go. Getting some speed, but the plows are like actually doing work right now. You can see that. I don't know why, but they're kind of making a mess. All right, we're uh, almost there, so I'll see you once we get to the shop. We'll start unloading everything, figure out where we're going to put all this stuff, and then we'll drive the diesel truck. We have another one, and then we also have a uh, the big dump truck to drive back. So we'll drive those two back, and we'll be on our way. So I'll see you guys as soon as we get these uh, unloaded. There it is. What a beautiful shop. And I wonder who owns that one. Alright, here's the tricky part. We're going to back this trailer all the way in because there's not enough room to back it all the way out and turn around and all that. So we're going to go ahead and back this one in. There we go. Alright, we're doing pretty well so far. Alright, here we go. Let's put this plow over here. This one's for the GMC. So that one can stay right there. And then, oh boy, the Yamaha is falling off. Let's go ahead and push it off here. The good old Yamaha Grizzly. There we go. And then let's put this one in here. Spin it around. There we go. Should be good. And we're going to have to get some snowmobiles too. Uh, so let's go ahead and tilt this thing back. And then we'll start. Alright, here we go. Next we got the boss pile. Let's set that one down. Looking good. And then I think there's one more. There it is. 
This one is for the Jeep, so we'll go ahead and put that one over there. We'll just line up the plows for now. This one's already starting to unload itself, so uh, that's like yeah, the straps didn't hold up. Let's go ahead and put this one down. I think what we're going to do is obviously for the small door, we're going to keep the smaller equipment. So the skid steer we'll put up front here. Zero gravity right now. This thing's rolling all over. And then let's go ahead and put this trailer in the trailer shed. All right, now this trailer, um, it's a little big, so we can't put it in the shop. Well, actually, we might be able to. I'm not sure. Let's go. We're going to put the trailer in there, so it's going to be tricky, but we're not going to be using this one too much, so we won't have to get it out that much, maybe a couple times a year. So let's go ahead and back this one in, all the way in there, right behind that snow heater, or melter, I think it's a melter. Alrighty, let's angle ourselves here, back it in the corner, it's going to be super tight. Keep going, keep going. Okay, just a touch more, and we should be good. It wasn't that bad to back it in, so that's pretty easy okay, there we go let's back this one in here so the GMC is our personal truck obviously and then let's actually put this in this storage that way nothing gets hurt or broken and then this one's for the skid steer there we go I think the plow is hooked up all the way it looks pretty good and then I think we gotta grab the semi and then the other vehicle and we should be good to go so yeah this is the semi I was talking about this thing's got some sick tune to it I'm gonna go ahead and get this one back and then we'll grab the last truck and we should be good to go Alright, here we are, we're pulling in. Let's put this one in the shop. There we go, back it up, should be good there. And for the end, we got a tricked out Chevy 2016 Silverado. This one's got the high country package. We tricked this thing out, mud tires, we got everything on it. Plow prep on the front, so let's go ahead, get a plow for this bad boy and drive it back. But uh, we don't drive Chevys that often. But... Alright, here we go, it's got the boss plow on the front. It's actually a V plow, so it works pretty well. And then we're going to go ahead and drive this one back. So we'll find a spot to park it up once we get there. And I'll see you as soon as we get back. The interior on this truck is actually really similar in, uh, in real life. So it looks pretty good. Motto did a good job on it. So we're going to get this one tucked away and get everything closed up. And then we'll come back to the shop as soon as we get a big storm. Get some calls. Have our first jobs at the snowplow shop. Sadly, it's going to be the end of today's video. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. Uh, we got the first snowplow shop set up for the winter. Uh, winter's coming up fast. So we're going to get you set up now. And uh, we already got our first snow. So it's only in October and we're already snowing in Canada. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Hit that like button and subscribe if you guys did enjoy today's video. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.